Hi guys, my name is Marcel and you out there struggle with drawing perspective. And I'll promise you, after you've watched this video, you'll at least somewhat get the hang of how to draw this. Because today I'll show you guys how to draw humans in perspective. Like a sir. As always, I gave it my all to make this video as easy to understand as possible with animations, 3D models, references and even a draw along part where you and I draw perspective together. When I did this draw along part in my posing video, you all loved it, so I thought we could draw something together in this video as well. So why not grab a pencil and a piece of paper and let's get going. Now let's start from the start. I think it's the classic beginner mistake to draw your character an object in perspective along with all of their details. Uh, yeah, maybe don't do that. Everyone and even pros start out with basic shapes because some character designs out there it can get pretty complicated to draw. So let's take it down a notch and draw this together as easy as possible. We're not drawing any details right from the start, like we do in all of my videos, we're using some basic shapes first. Here you have an overview to make things easier. We're dividing this basic body with 5 lines. And this is up to preference, I just like to use 5 lines so it doesn't get too complicated. And this is all you need for starters. Let's keep this overview on the side so we can always reference it. Because we're now going to draw a human in perspective. You can draw along if you wanna. Also, you don't have to draw very small. Take some space if you wanna. It's easier to erase this way. The first thing that I'm drawing is the dynamic line to determine which way my character is facing. This is nothing new, you know this guideline from my previous tutorials already. Next up though, we are drawing the sections we divided our character. Now, don't forget that those sections are not supposed to look flat, they're in 3D. So make sure the gaps are getting smaller and smaller, just like they would in an actual 3D space. And now all that's left to do is to now place our human building blocks that we've established before. Now that's easier said than done because this is probably not gonna work out first try for you. You have to get a feeling for this. Drawing in perspective can get pretty tricky, so don't get discouraged if your first drawings don't look like mine from the very get-go. Also, don't draw these shapes half-heartedly. That's because you need to make sure that you're drawing this correctly. After all, this is your base. And your base needs to be correct. If it's not, your drawing will look crooked later on. It's just like building a house. If the foundation is uneven, the whole damn thing will collapse in on itself. Don't worry, you can always check if everything's correct by checking if the joints are about the same height. And that's pretty much it for starters. To this basic body, you can now add things like, for example, clothing, muscles or even other details because now you've made sure that everything's proportioned correctly. Now I'm not going to explain to you how to draw every single muscle though, however if you're interested I have videos that give you an overview on human anatomy and how to draw human faces in perspective. They are all uploaded to my channel if you want to watch them. Also this is kinda self explanatory but of course this method works with the other way around as well in case you want to draw a human from for example below. You just have to adjust the gaps so that now the sections on the upper part are smaller. And speaking of gaps, if you want to draw some extreme perspective, you can experiment by making the gaps smaller or larger. But maybe you just started out, which is why you would still need to practice perspective before you can draw some extreme views. But luckily I have some tips for practicing as well. The best way to practice this is by looking up reference images. I can suggest looking up a darker stock on DeviantArt, she has some really good ones you could use. Then you can use the overview from this tutorial, right after you've liked this video. Then you can divide your reference pose and draw a basic body just like we did before, after you've subscribed to this channel. And then you can add some muscles and clothing. 
after you've given me all of your money on Patreon. What's also super helpful to use is 3D models. Stop, stop, no, no, I I'm aware, I'm aware. Not everyone's a fan of that. I'm the witch! But 3D models are great because you can adjust them in any way you like. I'm not saying that you have to trace it or whatever. I'm just saying that if you want to practice drawing perspective, this makes for some very good reference material. Now, would you mind taking that away, please? Burn the witch! I mean, it's the same thing as using one of those creepy wood puppet dolls, but just objectively better. In my humble opinion, this beats searching hours on end for a suitable reference when you can just make the reference yourself. Also, if you're interested in what tablet or kind of software I'm using for this, I have a complete list over on my website. Now, this was the easy way to practice it, but if you're an aspiring comic or manga artist, you now have to take it up a notch. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about, I had to learn this the hard way. Because when drawing your characters in an actual scenario, like manga or comic panels, you need to use a vanishing point. You can imagine your vanishing point like a magnet, where all of your division guidelines from before are pointing towards. This is absolutely important, because that's the only way to get the height and dimensions of your characters right. You can use these guidelines to measure where characters in the distance are supposed to stand. Also, like I said, you could use this method to figure out how tall they are. And to make things a bit more believable, yes, this also goes for characters that are standing sideways. But since you'll need a second vanishing point for that, things are only going to get more complicated from here. If you still want to learn more about vanishing points and drawing things like objects or buildings in perspective, I've got you covered. There are already tutorials on my channel about basically everything, so if you still struggle with a topic, you can check out my other videos. This also includes vanishing points. Like always, this video took me a lot of time to animate and edit. I'd appreciate if you'd be supporting me to make more tutorials like this. What do you want to see next though? I thought about making a video about inking your artworks. You guys know I love inking and hatching to death. I also thought about making videos about coloring or digital art, but those are literally the most unpopular videos on my channel, which is why I'm probably not gonna make more videos like that anymore. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video or in the meantime on Instagram and Twitter. Goodbye.